Is SpongeBob really as bright as you kids thought he is? Not really, because today in the Master Rainy channel, I'm going to discuss 10 of the stupidest moments of this yellow sea sponge that lives under the sea. In No Weenies Allowed, SpongeBob tries to enter the Salty Spittoon, but he was rejected because he was too weak to enter. The Salty Spittoon was only for the toughest fish in Bikini Bottom. Yet a weenie named Spongebob tries to get in, thinking that he is tough enough to enter. Spongebob needed to win a fight, suggested by Weenie Hut Juniors, but he uses Patrick for help, an idiot starfish who lives under a rock. The two fight as part of the rehearsal to earn membership to the Salty Spittoon, and Spongebob wins by having Patrick beat himself up. He is yet admitted to the Salty Spittoon because of his perceived telekinetic fighting abilities, yet while lacking any basic fighting skills. The minute he enters the Salty Spittoon, he gets injured from simply slipping in an ice cube, thus proving he's still a weakling. In Muscle Bob Buff Pants, Sandy tries to persuade SpongeBob into fitness, but is too scared to participate in the program. SpongeBob uses inflatable fake muscle arms to impress people with his strength that only came from watching an advertisement. SpongeBob with these fake muscles attempts to lift up an anchor, but unfortunately for him, the muscle arms explode, thus turning out that SpongeBob was lying about his strength. And not to mention, his exercise program consisted of lifting up stuffed animals. In the episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty, we all can see that Spongebob loves his job so much at the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs opens up his restaurant for 24 hours, yet without hiring new employees to work night shifts, therefore leaving Spongebob and Squidward to work 24-hour shifts. Spongebob is just yet excited for working 24-hour shifts. This shows that he was unaware that working day and night does more harm than good. If anyone doesn't know, Spongebob just loves excessive work like the workaholic he is. Working long hours will do more harm than good. In the episode Bossy Boots, Spongebob receives an order of two salads. He pronounces it as salads. Spongebob reads the order of two salads and actually never heard of salads. In the same episode, Spongebob was ordered two salads, but still he makes two Krabby Patties instead. There's a point that Spongebob doesn't recognize salads right there. Also in the same episode, Spongebob was introduced to Mr. Krabs' daughter Pearl, but yet says hello to a pole and hugs it. Spongebob wakes up on a Sunday morning and something smells to prepare for a Sunday meal. Because of being out of ice cream, Spongebob makes a Sunday out of the following ingredients, ketchup, onions, a peanut plant, and its soil, which of course led to him having bad breath that made people run away from him, especially for their lives. In imitation crabs, Plankton makes a fake Mr. Krabs, aka the robot Mr. Krabs, but Spongebob falls for the imposter that Plankton was behind. When Spongebob finally notices the two of the Eugene Krabses, still, he couldn't recognize the real Mr. Krabs. He ran a quiz of three questions, but yet believed that the imposter Mr. Krabs was the real one and took the real Mr. Krabs as the imposter. How could someone fall for a robot version of someone and take them as the real one? That right there is proof that Spongebob is very dumb. In Squid on Strike, Squidward convinces Spongebob to join him on going on a strike because of a ridiculous bill charged from Mr. Krabs. Spongebob, not knowing what going on strike really is, just gets excited about protesting against Mr. Krabs. Thus, him and Squidward get fired for this. Squidward convinces Spongebob to make a sign that says, Krusty Krab Unfair, but yet, he writes Krusty Krab Fun Fair 
on the sign causing people to think that there is a fun fair at the restaurant, thus making the restaurant more popular, not protesting it. SpongeBob really doesn't know how to protest, but not to mention, he previously made a fence on a stick and a picture of someone picking their nose. Yeah, that's really not protesting, SpongeBob. And now to avail my top pick, it'll be... A. What's this? It's a text message from the Project Commission. Three dishonorable mentions. Bubble Bass shows up at the Krusty Krab expecting pickles, but he says that the Krabby Patty had no pickles in the episode Pickles. SpongeBob subsequently forgets how to make a Krabby Patty, as well as how to tuck himself in bed at night. As well as that, he forgets everything and makes his whole house a pigsty. In Band Geeks, SpongeBob, as one of the drummers, is seen alongside the other two drummers, blowing on their drumsticks like flutes, french horns, or any other wind instrument. Yeah, drums are meant for banging, not blowing. In Squillian Returns, SpongeBob pretends that he's working for Squidward as Squidward pretends to be the entrepreneur of a fancy restaurant. SpongeBob was told to clear his mind on everything, including his own name and identity. Wow, there's where SpongeBob is Dumber than a baby, because even babies can remember their own names and respond to it. In case you don't know, Patrick is an idiot character, as I said before, who pretty much doesn't know anything. SpongeBob is constantly falling for Patrick's lies and tricks. Of course, SpongeBob is best buddies with Patrick. But sure, they are both idiots, and that's why they're friends. In the episode Suds, Patrick tells Spongebob that the Doctor's is a horrible place, making him believe that the Doctor will make him sit in the waiting room and read old magazines. Patrick's cures just make Spongebob feel worse in the episode, but there he doesn't realize it and just thought that the cures made him feel better. In Giant Squidward, Spongebob sprays Squidward's nose with kelp grow, causing it to grow larger. Patrick suggested turning the bottle upside down, but Spongebob did it and sprayed Squidward's nose again, still causing it to grow even larger, simply because the bottle still says kelp grow, no matter which angle it sprays, as Spongebob did not realize. In the episode Sailor Mouth, Patrick tells Spongebob that these curse words, speaking of curse words... Sounds like the dolphin chirps are sentence enhancers and make you talk fancy. So the next day, Spongebob and Patrick talk fancy at the Krusty Krab by swearing in their sentences, drawing attention from the customers. Spongebob goes on the speaker and talks fancy on there by saying the following, but to be explicit, viewer's discretion is advised. Attention, Attention customers. customers, today's, today's special, special is a, a fucking Krabby Patty served in a greasy fucking sauce, sauce and grilled to fucking, fucking perfection. perfection. And, and don't forget, forget to ask us to fuck the fucking, fucking fries. fries. It, it will, will be, be our, our fucking, fucking pleasure. pleasure. Wow. He offended the customers after falling for Patrick's myth. So who lives in a pineapple under the sea? A complete, gullible, incompetent, and overconfident dumbass who believes myths and is very forgetful over certain things. Share your thoughts in the comments if you have any other ways Spongebob is stupid that I haven't mentioned. Be sure to share this video with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell. The 40th video on the Master Rainy channel will premiere as soon as possible. This is Master Rainy now signing off.